Uh, the next step of the Windows 8 consumer preview installation process is uh, basically just to personalize it, okay? So you'll have to do things here like, you know, enter your account name, set up Wi-Fi, things like that, okay? So I'm just going to set up the PC name as test PC, okay? But you can call it whatever you want, okay? So you, oh, also here you can select your background color, you know, things like that, so... I just said said it as green because I'm in Ireland just to be a bit corny and it's around St. Patrick's Day so it's kind of appropriate so we'll just hit next so at this stage then you can you can set up your wireless if you want I'm not going to now at the moment but you could pick you know uh, these are actually uh, one of my neighbours I think so um, I won't go trying to uh, set up theirs so you could either you know highlight the one you want click into it and then go connect or you can set it up at a later date um, from inside Windows 8 itself. So I'm just going to skip here. Now, the next thing is your settings. So you have two choices here. You can use Express Settings or you can Customize. So first of all, um, I'll just show you to Customize. So there's things there like, you know, how to deal with Windows updates and, you know, get new drivers, things like that, and apps. Okay. So um, just you can see there what you can select or whatever. So I'll just show you next. Um, then there's other things where, you know, you can send back information to Microsoft to help them improve Windows 8, things like that. Hit next. There's other things to do then with, you know, um, if you have a problem that it'll give you, you know, suggested solutions to it and, um, uh, you know, information that maybe, you know, that other people may have provided using the previous settings and it may help you, you know, recover from some error that you have. Okay. So... Next thing then, you can set up your username. So that's all fine. So that's basically it. And then when you have your username set up, you know, example, John, you, or whatever your name is, you just click finish. But I'm just going to go out with that for a second. I'm just going to go back. And I'm just going to say use express settings. And it just brings you straight to the end of all that. And all the things that you will have seen there in the express settings will be set up for you by default. Okay, So there are some things in there that you may want to change from a privacy point of view. I generally would use the customize and you know you can set then what sort of information you want to share with Microsoft. So that's up to yourself. That's a personal decision. Um, so we'll just call the username John just for argument's sake and then just click finish. OK, so the next stage here now is basically it takes about two minutes and uh, it just finalizes your settings. And what you'll see then is basically um, it's going to bring you up to this thing where you won't have seen this before on any Windows. Uh, it's called the Metro user interface. And when you see it first, basically you won't know what's going on because, you know, you'll be so used to just seeing the boot up normally into the desktop or things like that. Um, and I have another video showing, uh, you know, basically how you use it and how you can go back to a more traditional um, usage of Windows. But the Metro, the Metro UI or user interface is basically Windows 8 um, is kind of designed for, and it certainly takes into account the popularity of tablet devices and touchscreen devices that are prevalent now at the moment. Um, and that's why they have this Metro user interface. But it, it's still, you know, fairly usable on a PC or laptop. So it's just a matter of getting used to it. But you don't have to use um, the Metro user interface. There is an app within it for, it's called the desktop app, which will bring you back to a more traditional, um, to a more traditional type of setup for Windows. And there you can see, that's it. You're straight in there now and that's it and you can start using it. So I have another video there just giving an overview of the Metro UI interface or the Metro user interface and um, you know how you can use some of the features um, in Windows 8. So there are a few nice little features they've added in and um, you can kind of think of Windows 8 so far I'm just looking at it you know you could kind of think of it as you know Windows 7 plus basically. So there's some extra features um, They've reintroduced some things that were in previous versions of Windows, which I think is a good step, actually. But they've introduced another thing that has been in certain Microsoft products for a while now called the Ribbon. And I'm not, not a big fan of that, but you can see that in the other video I've done. So that's basically it, the last stage of um, how you install Windows 8 on your laptop or PC.